Everyone loves a good party. And a long, long time ago, all of the horned animals, they decided to have just that, a party. But only animals with horns were invited. If you didn't have horns, you couldn't come. Now soon the word started to spread about this horned animals party. Party, party, did you hear about the party, party? Did you hear about the party, party? Did you hear about the party, party? Ooh. Now bro dog and bro cat, and they were best friends at this time, they really wanted to go to the party. But no horns. How could they go? Bro dog, he thought about it. He thought, hi. And he thought low. He thought high. And he thought low. And then you see, he thought of a way in which they could go. That night, as it got all dark and the moon was rising, Bro Dog he took Bro Cat to the graveyard. He started digging in the ground, and then he found a goat's horn. He put it on his head and he said, Bro Cat, I am going to wear this horn for half of the party. You can wear it for the other half. And that way, both of us can go to the horned animals party. Now, it was a wonderful idea. And so, on the night of the party, Bro Dog and Bro Cat they went to the house where the party was taking place. They hid in some bushes just outside and Bro Dog, he put the horn on his head and he said, Bro Cat, I'm going to go in there for a few minutes, then I'm going to come out and then it's your turn. Great. And so Bro Dog, he got out of the bushes and he walked up to the house. Knocked on the door. The door it opened, and would you believe it? Bro Dog, with his fake phony goat's horn, he was let in to the horned animals party. And the moment he stepped in, he knew this was not any ordinary party. Everywhere he looked, there was delicious food. There was plenty to drink. But the best thing about this party was the music. When Bro Dog heard the music, he couldn't help himself. He started to dance and to sing. Boonda, abunda, abunda, terabunda, abunda, 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 terabunda, abunda, 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 terabunda, abunda, abunda, yeah. You know what it's like when you go to a really good party. You sort of forget about everything else. And that's what happened to Bro Dog. He forgot all about Bro Cat waiting outside. He was just dancing and singing. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bro Cat was waiting outside in the bushes and he thought, I wonder where Bro Dog is. I'm sure he's going to come back with a goat's horn any minute now. Or was he? Now, do you think Bro Dog gave Bro Cat even a second thought? <laughs> As if. Now, Bro Cat, he was getting fed up waiting, and so he got out from the hiding place and he walked up to the house. Now, he didn't go knocking on the front door, of course, he didn't have a horn. Instead, he walked round the side of the house and he looked in through a window. And there, he saw Bro Dog. Bro Dog. Bro Dog. Bro Dog. Now, Bro Dog couldn't hear him. <laughs> the music was much too loud. But 
there was someone in that party who did hear Brocat, and that was Mr. Bull. Now, Mr. Bull, he was the boss of this party. And you know what bulls are like when they get mad. Their nostrils flare up, they start shuffling their hooves. Oh, Mr. Bull, he was mad. He marched over to the front door, he opened it and he said, Whoever you are out there, get away from here. There are no dogs in this party. And then he slammed the door shut. Oh, Mr. Bull, he was mad. But broke hat. He was starting to get a bit mad too now. He walked over to the front door and he yelled, bro dog, bro dog, bro dog. Now, this time, bro dog, he heard it. And so he sort of started easing himself towards the door. Boonda, a boonda, a boonda, da da boonda, a boonda, a boonda, yeah. He opened the door. Shh, bro cat, calm down. Listen, I forgot all about the time. Now, I'm only going to be in here for a few more minutes. Then I'm going to come out and then it's your turn. You can have the goats on it. Then Brodog, he turned around. Do you know who was standing right behind him, listening to every word that was being said? Mm -hmm. Mr. Ball. Brodog, he knew he was in trouble now. He needed to think quick. What was he going to do? Well, Brodog, he looked at Bro Cat and he said, There are no dogs in here. And then he slammed the door in his best friend's face. Oh, bro cat, he had had it. He knocked on the door and he shouted, bro dog, bro dog, come on out of there right now. Now, when Mr. Bull heard that, it kind of got him thinking. He said, maybe there is a dog here after all and maybe we should find out. Brodog he knew he couldn't stay at that party any longer. He needed to leave immediately and so he started dancing his way towards the exit. Boonda, abunda, abunda, terabunda, abunda, 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 terabunda, abunda. But he wasn't looking where he was going and he danced straight into a wall and his goat's horn, that fake phony goat's horn, it fell off his head. Mr. Bull's nostrils, they started to flare and he shuffled his hooves and he looked at Brodog and he said, get him. And all the horned animals, started running towards Broda. Broda, he ran out of the house, but he ran straight into Bro Cat, and you should have seen the fight they had. They were biting each other, and they were pushing each other, and they were scratching each other, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until Bro Dog, he pinned Bro Cat down on the ground, but Bro Cat, he reached out with his paw and he scratched Bro Dog, right here at the side of his mouth. Now, do you know how dogs always look a bit pink and raw here at the sides of their mouth? Well, now you know why. And now you know why dogs and cats, they are no longer best friends. It's all because of what happened a long, long time ago at the Horned Animals Party. Party, party, did you hear about the party? Party, did you hear about the party? Party, ooh.